Today in the shop, we have a 2000 Ford Expedition. It's having power steering difficulties. It's very stiff. So the owner uh, got a new pump, but we're gonna go ahead and do a little looking before we dig into that pump. So let's jump right in. With the engine running, you can see that it's very stiff. It does get to spots where you can feel there's a tightness. So our steering shaft, if you look, you can see it is extremely rusty. Uh, we're gonna try to lubricate the little universal joint. There's one here and then one further down. Can't quite see it from this angle, sorry. We're gonna lubricate those and see if that helps any. The more the better, I think, in this situation. Just to make it easier to get in, I'm just gonna pull the top off, disconnect the sensor, and pull this hose clamp and take this out of my way. Get a little straighter shot into it. Just loosen up that one. Lift it up, we may not even have to disconnect our wire. Just yeah, we're gonna disconnect the wire, get it all the way out of the way. So on these plugs, they have that little red clip. It's upside down so you can't see it. So just get a hold of the red clip, pull it back part way, and then you can just push in the tab to pull them out. Now that that's done, we can just basically lift it out of there, set it to the side. I will say, removing that thing really opens up the underhood of these vehicles. Just with that little bit of lube, it already is freed up. So I'm gonna work this thing back and forth and put some more spray on. Hopefully that penetrating oil, I'm just using PB Blaster, can get it to where you worked in there a little bit more. Got a little bit on the exhaust while it was running, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray it, let it sit for a little bit. I gotta try to get to the lower one. It's definitely gonna be a little harder to get to, but I think this is the problem. These shafts are replaceable, so we'll see what the owner wants to do. All right, the owner decided to go ahead and replace the steering shaft. Right there is the Dorman part number for it. And so I'm not gonna show you doing it under the hood, but uh, basically, there, you know, you've got a bolt on each end going in. You've got this little expansion joint. I'm gonna tap a, a little chisel in there just to help spread that out a little bit and then pound the top one down and then pound the bottom one up and then we'll get that new one put in. So old one out, new one in. <laughs> on this one with the way the bolt is lined up, if you're off just a little bit from square, the bolt lines up real easy to where you can get to it from the top. I'm just using a just a little ratchet strap, just putting a light amount of pressure so that I don't have any problems with the alignment or anything like that. So to get it out, I put the chisel in the top one, right in the little groove and tapped it down. So it was opening it up as it was putting pressure down, slid right off the shaft. Now granted, I soaked this thing with a lot of penetrating oil. And then on the bottom one, this was positioned to the front. So I was able to just put that in lightly, tap it in a little bit, and then just give it a couple pulls and just by the bam, bam of this joint, this, uh, let me show you. So you see that little expansion where it slides? Just by doing that a couple of times, it acted like a slide hammer popped right out. So this joint up here, you can see worked fine. The slide joint's good, but this is the problem. This is why the truck doesn't steer because there's just no give in that. Okay, we are back to easy steering on this thing. 